That did not go how I thought it was going to go. We went 3-10. and 10. That is absolutely atrocious. Uh, I guess this guy was right. They were some ass predictions. But we got to bounce back. I don't see how there's any way that I do worse than last week. But we're going to bounce back this week. Uh, yeah, so let's just, let's just get straight into it. Uh, so on Thursday, we have the Bucks and the Bills. Uh, both of these teams have have they've been struggling as of late. The Bucks haven't really had much going on offense at all this year. Uh, they've been outgained on offense by everyone they've played so far, not named the Saints or the Bears, and both of their offenses have been struggling this year. Uh, they'll be going against a top five offense in yards with Josh Allen, who has been reckless with the ball. And the Bucks are third in takeaways this season. Uh, they are only behind the Jaguars and the Bills. So, unfortunately for Tampa, I think despite their good defensive play this year, uh, they're going to drop this one to the Bills, who are looking to rebound after a few rough weeks of football. So, next we have the Jets and the Giants. Uh, I'm not really excited about this game. The Giants have one of the worst offenses in the league, if not the complete worst. The Jets have yet to give up a 300-yard passing game, and they've played the likes of Patrick Mahomes, Jalen Hurts, Josh Allen, Dak Prescott, and Russell Wilson. Uh, whether or not they go up against Daniel Jones or Tyrod Taylor, who they have noticeably been more competitive with, uh, I think that the Giants are going to come up short again. The Jets are going to continue on their run and get the thir- their third straight win. Next, we have the Jags and the Steelers. Every time I bring up the Steelers, I say the same thing to lead off. I'm not going to do it this time. With that said, like I noted in my trick-or-treat video, if you haven't watched it, go check it out. Uh, They are a top team in total takeaways. Last game, the Jags were pretty reckless with the ball as well. Uh, The only thing is that the Saints didn't capitalize on those turnovers. Kind of torn on this game, honestly, but my gut tells me to take Jacksonville. However, my gut is 2-4 and when it comes to Steeler games. Uh, But I'm going to take the Jags anyway. Next, we have the Eagles and the Commanders. So, here's a stat. Sam Howell has been sacked 40 times this year, the most by any quarterback up to this point. The Eagles are fifth in the league in total sacks, and that stat is enough for me to take the Eagles over the Commanders, who are also coming off a whopping seven-point game against the Giants, so give me the Eagles. Next, we have the Rams and the Cowboys. I was trying to vouch for the Rams last week, and then they go and make me look silly. Uh, They're taking on the Cowboys, and I'm going to take the Cowboys. They're coming off their bye week. They're fresher. The Rams don't have Kyron Williams again. So I think that the Cowboys are going to keep it going. So give me Dallas. Next, we have the Vikings and the Packers. And in a sudden turn of events, uh, we have the Vikings now ahead of the Packers in the division. After some people were expecting them to be in the running for a top five pick uh, just a couple weeks ago, uh, now they're coming off a huge win against the 49ers. The Packers are coming off three straight losses. I'm just going to take the hot hand in this. Uh, The Vikings just feel like a different team than the Packers right now in a good way. So give me Minnesota. Next, we have the Falcons and the Titans. I don't like this matchup. It's ugly. Uh, Not a game I would want to watch. The Titans flat out don't really look that good right now. The Falcons look decent, but I kind of see them as fraudulent. I'm not really bought into them. Could be the Saints fan and me talking, but still... Uh, The Titans have played a lot better at home this year, and the Falcons have yet to put up 20 points on the road. So where the Titans, where both of their highest scoring games happened at home, they were both 27-point games. Uh, I could go either way, but when in doubt, I'm going to hate on the Falcons. So let's go with the Titans, and fuck it, we'll do Titans in the upset of the week. Why not put my faith in a 2-4 and team if a 5-2 and team can't get it done? This, this upset of the week record is just absolutely brutal. Uh, next, we have the Patriots and the Dolphins. So the Patriots decided to come and play last week, I guess. Uh, they got a win over the Bills while the Dolphins were busy losing to the Eagles. The league's best offense is going to host the Patriots this time around, and it does seem like it's a little bit more favorable for New England. Tyreek's going to be out. They have momentum after beating another division rival. But there is always a but. 
The Dolphins are undefeated at home, and not only that, they are undefeated. Tua, I should say, is undefeated against the Patriots in his career. And if I learned anything when I went to Vegas, it's always to follow the runs. Don't keep betting black when it's hitting red, because it won't work out. So I'm going to take the Dolphins here. Next, we have the Saints and the Colts. Uh, The Saints make me hate football. They make me hate watching football. Abysmal offense that somehow, someway ended up giving me hope just to throw the game away by dropping a wide open touchdown uh, to tie the game. Unfortunately, the research that I've been doing for this game is kind of favorable for the Saints. Uh, India's had a four to Four turnovers on offense in their last two games under Gardner Minshew. Their defense has been very weak against the pass, and and they have a backup quarterback starting. He's a good backup, but he's still a backup. I really, really, really don't want to pick the Saints because they disappoint me so goddamn much. They're 0-2 against the AFC South this year. So I'm going to go with my gut, go with my heart, go with my brain. I'm going to take the Colts. Next, we have the Texans and the Panthers. Panthers fucking suck, dude. I thought they were supposed to improve this year. Wasn't you know, wasn't Bryce Young supposed to you know lead them in the right direction? I was getting so much hate for saying that the Panthers were going to go six and eleven. Now they might not even get there. I mean, how am I supposed to pick them at all? Their defense is bad, especially on the ground. Even if the Texans' run offense isn't great, I bet they can bounce back when they play the Panthers. The Texans don't turn over the ball. Uh, I think it's just a really good matchup for Houston. Carolina is just a dumpster fire right now, and I really like the Texans right now, so I'm taking Houston. Next, we have the Browns and the Seahawks. Cleveland, you almost sold me. You almost sold me on the lock of the week. And it seems like you got bailed out anyway, so... Even though that their defense has been impressive, whether it's been taking the ball away or just completely completely shutting down teams, I like the Seahawks in this game. Uh, The Seahawks have have also been uh, improving on defense, a defense that is going against an offense who is down two running backs right now and their starting quarterback. So I'll take Seattle in this one. Next, we have the Bengals and the 49ers. Uh, On the 2023 NFL bingo card, I can mark off two squares that I definitely didn't think I was going to mark off. Uh, The 49ers dropping back-to-back games, and Sam Darnold is going to start a game for them this week. And honestly, they're at risk of losing a third game in as many weeks, which is crazy to think about. The Bengals are currently picking it up, and their defense has been pretty solid throughout, at least through the air, they've been solid throughout the year. Uh, But on the ground, they haven't really. And I think that's what the 49ers are going to lean into. They don't need Darnold to do a bunch. They don't need him to do a whole lot uh, because they have Christian McCaffrey. Uh, He's going against a team that allows 100 rush yards per game against running backs, including games of 122 from Derrick Henry and 106, I believe, from Nick Chubb. So when they're going against the best running back in the league, I think they're going to struggle. So give me the 49ers. Next, we have the Chiefs and the Broncos, 15 straight, 16 straight. Ravens and Cardinals. First, I'd like to apologize to the Ravens. I wasn't familiar with your game, but I am now. The Ravens are legit. Uh, And getting back to the topic of struggling rushing defenses, I think that's exactly what's going to happen in this game. The Ravens' rush offense has been a problem for everybody despite their backfield injuries. Uh, Not only with their committee, but with a guy named Lamar Jackson. He's been great on the ground, as he always is. But he's he's been pretty damn good through the air. He's completing 71% of his passes. He's been taking care of the ball interception-wise. They're simply just clicking right now. Uh, Great offense, great defense. The Ravens are the lock of the week this week just to make up for my disrespect toward them last week. Now we're moving to prime time, and what a banger to start off with. The Chargers and the Bears. The Bears, like most teams last week, proved me wrong. They tore the Raiders up, but I don't know if it's going to be the same this time around. 
I think. Uh, do I think that teabag can teabag the Chargers defense? Like he did the Raiders? Maybe. Do I think the Chargers offense can also brutalize the Bears defense? Also, maybe. I wish I could just really not pick this game, but, you know, I have to. So I'm just going to take the more explosive team. I won't even say better. So I'm taking the Chargers. And to close it out on Monday, we have the Raiders and the Lions. Just another fucking fantastic primetime game. At least people like to watch the Lions play, at least. I know that the fans of the Bears and Chargers don't even like watching their own team play. Uh, But the Lions offense, they got shut down against the Ravens. But I can assure you that the Raiders are not the Ravens. They got torched by the Bears. And I can only imagine what Jared Goff is going to do. I think he's going to rip them a new one. After that loss to Baltimore, they're going to bounce back. Give me the Lions. Well... Hopefully we bounce back after last week because that was real bad. That was real bad. Uh, Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't checked out my trick-or-treat video, um, it's basically, are these teams frauds or are they legit? That's uh, that's a better way to put it. But, you know, I had to get festive with it. You see the, you see the, the, decor, the decor back here get real festive. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, I don't have much more to say. Go check out that video. And uh, until the next video, deuces.